Hey guys, welcome back to Lemonhead Garage. And today, I bought another bike. So this is a new bike that I bought. It's a 2002 Dyna FXDL, uh, also known as a lowrider. It's in this green and bluish paint. I've been wanting this for a really long time. I actually ended up selling the CBR for this. Um, I was trying to find between the, this color and a purple one, and then this came out and it was kind of perfect. It was um, all close to, but not everything I wanted, but I couldn't have, I couldn't pass it down. It was, it was right in front of me. So I'm just gonna go over the mods on the bike. So as many of you probably know, uh, most of the old generation bikes had a top mount headlight, but this guy actually ended up drilling the bottom so that it can have a bottom mount, which is perfect because I do want a T-Sport fairing and it's a lot easier to have a bottom mount than a top mount. Um, I don't know what headlight this is. Uh, this guy did spend a pretty penny, so it might be something nice and it might not be. This fairing is just an Amazon fairing. I think it's like hundred bucks, nothing crazy. I am gonna switch to a T-Sport in a little bit, but not right away. Um, I think there are tracker dies in here, but I don't know because it seems very short because on the other Dyna that I actually end up, sold to, end up selling to my friend, it has a two inch and it's a lot taller. Um, so I don't know what's in here, but I'm probably going to take it out and rebuild the forks because it seems to be a little, it seems to be leaking a little bit. And in the front, we have the stock rotors, but they are a little bit warped. Uh, I can feel it kind of lugging and I already have picked up one and then we're actually going to switch that, that out today. Um, it does have a longer cable and a guardian belt. Uh, I might switch that out to steel braided in a month or so. And going up, uh, I don't know if they came with these, but I do love these. I love the halos. I had it on my old Sportster and I think it's just, it looks sick. Um, I think there's some hard case risers here. The cool thing about this bike is that it already has a GPR stabilizer and a top triple clamp. Um, it seems to be leaking a little bit, so I just might take that out and send it back to them and have them rebuild it. Um, up top, it has a Moto Gadget Speedo, um, and it has all these sensors for like signals and lights. Um, I think it's cool, but I don't know if I want to keep it because it's a little too modern for how this bike looks in my opinion. I'm not sure, I gotta figure that out. And then over here we do have the Easy Pull clutch and brake lever and then these mirrors I don't know what brand these are but I think they're pretty sick now over here we do have this pod thing that tells you the gas and the battery uh, the battery thing is pretty useful but I don't think the gas works correctly because it's been empty and I already filled it up um, I'm not too big of a fan of it either uh, I like the original gas tank and the original um, gas gauge um, but that's just me I might take it out and sell it and try to find a stock one. Coming down to the motor. Um, I'm not sure if this motor is built or not because it's a lot faster than the other Dyna I had. Uh, I know for sure it has a cam on the other side because these did have a cam problem so they took it out and redid the cam. And it might have a 95 kit, not sure. Um, but if it blows, I'll probably end up doing one anyways. And then we do have some flow shift levers and uh, pegs. And these are some drag shocks that they put on. I think they're like 12 or 13. I'm not sure because it's a lot shorter than the other one over there. But I plan on raising this. I'm not too big of a fan of how low it is right now. It did come with some really nice hard bags. We might put that on in a, in a future video or something. And then we got some pegs in the rear. And then in the rear, you do see a nice license plate mount and some uh, one of those LED tail lights. Um, tires still good, treads are still good. And then here we have a drag uh, specialty seat. Not a big fan. I think it's super uncomfortable compared to the Lapera. I fell in love with the. I fell in love with the Lapera. I found it to be a lot more comfortable than the Saddleman's, but that's just my opinion. On this side, we do have a Bassani exhaust. Uh, I love the sound. I think it sounds very aggressive, very punchy. And then last but not least up here, uh, it actually does have a Makuni carb. Um, that might be part of the reasons why uh, it seems to pull a little bit harder. Uh, other than that, I think that's basically everything on the bike. Oh, and it does have some mags, which is really cool. I love mags and they're a little bit hard to come by for a good price. 
And then today we're just gonna uh, drain the oil in the trans because it's it was having a hard problem to go into neutral. But then I remember John Motors Garage, uh, he had the same problem and it's because there was no, uh, there, there was not enough transmission oil. So when I looked at it, there was, it wasn't even showing on the dipstick. So I'm just gonna drain it and then do it today just to be sure. And yeah, let's, here we go. One final thing, there is a big chip right here. Um, for me, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, it is a big chip, but for the price I got this bike for, I can't really complain. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how I got this bike. So I was talking to my wife for a while about how I wanted a Dyna again. And uh, in that time, I actually found this bike about like a month ago. It was on Facebook uh, Marketplace. Um, it was at a good price and I was just staring at it. I'm like, man, this is an, an, this is the color I wanted. It has the, uh, everything that I would like to add to it. Minus a few things, but the price that guy posted for was um, unbeatable. Uh, but it was a little bit out, out of our budget for a while, so it meant that I had to sell the CBR. Um, so wrestling back and forth for like two weeks, I finally decided to post the CBR on uh, on the marketplaces. Um, so fast forward to about uh, last week, uh, I was I was on the way to the Bay Area, and on that Friday, I actually got. Uh, an offer for the CBR and they said they would come back on Sunday and pick it up which was the same time that I was going to be coming back from the Bay Area um, so I was excited I was like yes I get to pick up the other bike too so what's funny is actually at the same time the guy actually lowered the price on this bike about $500 and I was like perfect this is it this is time to get it so I messaged him and I was like hey I'm coming back from the Bay on Monday and uh, I'd like to pick it up and he was like, sure, just hit me up. I gave him my number, he gave me his number. And on Sunday, on the way back, I actually texted him and he said, hey, I actually just sold it a few minutes ago. And I was so sad, I was kind of bummed because I was kind of excited for this bike over the weekend. Um, and then I went home, a few hours passed, and then I was telling my wife about how bummed I was. And then I was just going through uh, FXR Trader and FXR and Dyna Trader. And then I found the same bike and I was like, there's no way this guy took it and he flipped it. So I messaged the guy again and I was like, hey, um, I saw your bike on FXR Trader. I think the guy's trying to flip it. And he said, yeah, he told me and everything. So I was like, oh, that's cool. At least he told him. So I, wa I walked around, I talked to my wife and I'm like, I'm gonna give this guy an offer. Um, so I ended up uh, messaging him and then I was the first person to mes message him and he replied and he said oh that's comedy and then uh, I was like hey I'll give you this amount to pick it up tomorrow like I'm a serious customer cash in hand and everything uh, and so he's like all right call me and then we made we were on the phone we're going back and forth and we made a deal and he was asking me like throughout the night he's like hey are you sure I got like a bunch of people hitting me up, trying to get the bike. And I was like, hey man, like I'm serious. I will be there, nothing stopping me. I'm gonna be there. Um, fast forward, the day goes by. He texted me like two more times just to make sure. And I got there, I saw the bike, immediate felt, immediately fell in love. So yeah, that's the story how I ended up buying this bike from the guy who bought it to resell it. But the, the cool thing is I actually got it for the price that we were planning to pay for it. So, I mean, it helped the guy who, uh, the middleman who was there and it, helped, and it was good for us too. So I'm actually not that bummed about it.